Baruch Dayan Hamet, we praise the judge of truth. If you have a cell phone or a pager, please uh, turn it off or set it to stun. People don't know you're at a funeral, and uh, somebody will call you, and it'll go off, and it'll be some sort of noise, and people will laugh, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but uh, we begin with Psalm 121. Esai enai el haharim me ayin yavo ezri. Ezri me im adonai, ose shamayim va'aretz. Al yiten lamot raglecha, al yanum shomrecha. Hine lo yanum, lo yishan shomer Yisrael. Adonai shomrecha, adonai tzilcha al yad yiminecha. Yomam hashemesh lo yakeka, ve'erech belayla. Adonai shmarcha mikol ra, yishmor et nafshecha. Adonai shmart seitcha avuecha, me atav ad olam. I lift up my eyes to the mountains, from whence cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. God will not let your foot give way, your protector will not slumber. See the protector of Israel, neither slumbers nor sleeps. The Lord is your guardian, he is your protection at your right hand. The sun will not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will guard you from all harm. He will guard your soul. You're going and you're coming, now and forever. Death has taken your dearly departed and your beloved, Jerome Schultz, Jerry. Friends grieve in the darkened world. In their silence, there's lamentation. In their tears, there's loneliness. Lost in their sorrow, may they find the presence of loving friends. Hear them, O God, and be with them. For Jerry's love that united many people in life and which death cannot sever. For his companionship that was shared along life's path and which continues to the tenderness of memory. For the gifts of his heart and his mind that brought joy and happiness and is now a precious remembrance. For all of these and more, we give our thanks to God. It is a time of sadness, and so we listen to the voice of our sacred scriptures once again from Sefer Tehillim, from the Book of Psalms. It brings us the ever new message of God's nearness. It tells us of our kinship with the Creator, in light as in darkness, in joy as in sorrow, in life as in death. Together in the English, let us recite the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He guideth me in straight paths for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou hast anointed my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. It is a privilege to call forward from the, uh, the grandchildren's generation. Nir will speak for that generation about our dear Jerry. Hello, everybody. I'm Jerry's um, granddaughter's husband. I wrote a very short verse to remember Jerry. With your permission, I would like to read it. To my beloved wife, Marlene, to my son, Richard, and my daughter, Terry, to my beautiful grandchildren, Ben, Rachel, and Jessica, don't cry for me. I'm in a better place now. I am at last not bound to the pain and discomfort and the difficulties my body, is, my body endured. I am a lucky man for all the above. Um, I'm 
I'm sorry, I'm a lucky man for all the love and dedication and devotion you had poured. Don't feel sorry for me. I, I have made peace with life and departed with serenity. Please remember my beloved kin and gathered friends. Very few people are fortunate to be surrounded by family when all light ends. For my grandchildren, being around you, the generation after my next, I never wanted to give up. I never wanted to let go. Immeasurable things were left for me to do. It is contrary to reason that I'm departing you. For my children, I will always remember our days of old. You taught me about life more than I ever knew I could. I will never forget the first time you two called me dad. I will forever cherish the good times we had and the deep bond we shared. And to my dearest of all, the wind to my sails and the sight to of my eyes. If past could come to be, oh boy, the joys and pleasures we would see. From the moment I saw you, at the adventures we shared together, from the ring I put on your finger, to our children having their first breath of air. Thank you, my one and only true love, for 60 years. I cannot think of a better way to say goodbye to life other than holding hands with my wife. Thank you. Word spoken as a beautiful prayer. And so let us say amen. gather to recall with reverence uh, a good and decent man, Jerome Schultz. He graced this earth for more than 85 years. His life and his passing are keenly felt. As some of the family spoke about Jerry, I was reminded of, uh, it's an old novel, it's a famous World War II novel by Herman Woke. And in the Kane Mutiny, Willie is the central character. And Willie is serving in the Navy, and he receives a letter from his father. His father is about to die from cancer. The older man, now sick and frail, reflecting upon his life, one in which he achieved much less than he had expected as a young man, he cautions his son, remember this if you can. There's nothing, nothing, nothing more precious than time. You probably feel you have a measureless supply of it, but you haven't. Wasted hours destroy your life, just as surely at the beginning as at the end. Only at the end it's more obvious. God decides how long our book will be on earth, how long the chapter is going to be. It's up to us to make every paragraph and every sentence, even every letter, count. Jerry lived a, a good long life, but the measure isn't how long you live. The measure is how you live. Every day is a gift and we should use it to the fullest to celebrate life and become a blessing to others. And in every family, these opportunities, these days, they pass so quickly. In every family, we should be kind and forgiving of one another. And we should improve our relationships with one another, every single one of us. Jerry was born to Ben and Anna on July 20th, 1932, here in Cleveland, his parents of blessed memory, Ben and Anna. He was the eldest of three children and is survived by his younger sister, Elaine, and brother, Donnie. He went to Heights High School, and in 1954, he and Marlene met on a blind date. You know, the classic response to that is, which one of you was blind? 
Looking, though, I think she was one probably blind. <laughs> so Marlene recalled, it was a blind date, and it was a double date. He was with my best friend, Marsha Gross, but he kept watching me in the rear view mirror as he was driving. I was sitting in the back of the car. It was an old Chevy. Jerry asked me out three times, but I refused because Marsha liked him. Finally, I said yes, and we started dating. That was in 1954. On June 5, 1955, Rabbi Rosenthal officiated at our wedding with Cantor Meisels. And those are some uh, venerated names in the Cleveland Jewish community. So it's uh, 62 plus years. Marlene continued, it's been a wonderful marriage. A good marriage, in a good marriage you need patience, tolerance, and consideration. For those of us married less than 62 years, these are good words for us. For all those of us married 62 or more years, these are still good words to know. Patience, tolerance, and consideration. Patience means things don't happen right away. Patience means things take time to build. Things do take time. Tolerance, guess what? You're not always right. Sometimes the other person's right. Consideration, please and thank you, even after you're married. Take that extra shower so you smell good. Be considerate of the other person. Marlene continued, he was sickly the last five years, so we stuck close to home and, and didn't go out much. But before that, we socialized, and there were trips we took. We went to London, we went to California. Those were great trips. Jerry and Marlene were blessed many times over the world with family during the 62 years plus of marriage. We have two children and five grandchildren. We have uh, Rick, Richard, his wife Deb, uh, Terry, her husband Pat, and grandchildren Ben, Rachel, Jesse, Mara, and Nick. Ben's uh, girlfriend Anna, Rachel's fiance Matt, Jesse's husband Nir, and uh, there will be great-grandchildren, God willing, soon. But uh, these things take time. Over the years, Jerry worked for Republic Steel, and then he took over Adams Manufacturing for Marlene's family. Did that for 17 years. When we talked about this, I said, Adams, how come? And you said, what? Just like the name? Yes, exactly. First in the phone book. And then we talked about, you will remember the, the TV show Get Smart, and the head actor for Get Smart, the starring actor, his name was Don Adams. Actually, Don Adams' name was, was Don Yarmy. He was a Jew from Eastern Europe, Yarmy. And every time he would go in for a, 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 an audition, by the time they got to the end of the alphabet, the part was already given out. So one day he went in for an audition, and the, the person came out to ask for the first person, and he raised his hand, Don, Don Adams. So he was the first in the uh, alphabet, and he got the part. It was a good TV show, but that's why they chose Adams. Why, why have people go to the back of the book? They're not going to go all the way back to the Y's or the Z's. Open up right there, Adams, Adams Manufacturing. Then Jerry and Marlene bought a restaurant supply company and ran it from 1974 to 2004 before closing it down and within a couple of years they retired. He also had a blessing of a favorite dog, Bella. And she showed me the pictures. Uh, Bella loved to, to sit in Jerry's chair with him, near him, as often as she could. And uh, those picture, pictures are priceless. Companionship is actually uh, not to be underrated. Companionship is very, very important. And sometimes dogs give you better companionship than people. Not always, but, but sometimes, you know. And uh, those are beautiful pictures, and I, I know Bella's probably a little lost right now in a lot of ways, right? You know, where's the smell, the smell, the smell? <sighs> so the last several years, as you know, have been difficult, difficult medical challenges. And uh, last Wednesday, uh, Jerry breathed his last, 
and there is now no more, there's no more pain or deterioration. There's just rest and wholeness and peace. Judaism talks about this. His soul is returning to God to be with the souls of his dear ancestors and friends and the ancestors of our people, family members. We learn this in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 7. The dust returns to the earth as it was. The spirit returns to God who gave it. So we will escort his body to its final resting place, and over the course of time there's deterioration and decomposition to dust. But the, the spirit returns to God. The family has allowed us to send along an old prayer book with Jerry, put it in the casket. It's a mitzvah to escort your loved one, loved one's body to its final resting place and also a, a religious obligation and an opportunity to give respectful burial to prayer books. So we are doing that as well. We thank the family for that. There are many, many memories of Jerry and we give thanks to God for this gift of long life, 85 plus years. We would have hoped for more, however, only in good health. I mean, if it was gonna be more and he was gonna be in good health, that's, that's what we hope and pray for. If it's not gonna be in good health, we wanna take care of our loved ones while they're here, and now he's at peace. And so in his loving memory, um, you should probably play with Bella, maybe another dog, be kind, take care of your marriage. I know it's not easy, but uh, take care of your marriage and your children and your grandchildren. And when you have blended families, blend them all into the best of your ability and uh, do, do good deeds. For only through the deeds which we perform can the world be compensated for his loss. And we conclude with words from the first chapter of the book of Job. Adonai Natan, Adonai Lakach, Yehi Shem Adonai Mavarach. The Lord hath given, the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. O se shalom bim romav, hu ya se shalom aleinu, ve al kohol Yisrael, ve imru, imru. Yahse shalom, Yahse shalom, shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael. Yahse shalom, Yahse shalom, shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael. Yahse shalom, Yahse shalom. Shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael. Yahse shalom, yahse shalom. Shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael. Yahse shalom, yahse shalom. Shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael. God who causes peace to reign in the high heavens, cause peace to reign down upon us, upon all Israel, and upon the soul of our dearly departed Jerry Schultz. And let us say, Amen. Please rise for the El Malay Rachamim prayer. Into your care, O God, we entrust the spirit of Jerry Schultz. For you keep faith with your children in death as in life. Sustain us that we may meet with serenity the mysteries that lie ahead, knowing that when we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you, O oh God, are with us, a loving friend in whom we put our trust. You are the light of our life, our hope in eternity. El male rachamim, shochen bamromim, Hametzem nucha nechona Tacha kanfe hashchina Im kedoshim utohorim Kezohar akia mazirim Et nishmat Jerome Schultz Ben Benjamin v'chana 
שהלך לעולמו בעל הרחמים יסתירהו בזה תקן עפיו לעולמים ויצרוה בצרו החיים את נשמתו אדוני הוא נחלתו וינוח בשלום על משכבו ונאמר אמן. Compassionate God, the eternal spirit of the universe, grant perfect rest in your sheltering presence. To Jerry Schultz, who has entered eternity. O God of mercy, let him find refuge in the shadow of your wings, and let his soul be bound up in the bond of everlasting life. God is his inheritance. May he rest in peace. And together let us say, Amen. If you will be seated for a moment, we will now receive instructions for the processional. We're going to Knollwood Cemetery. If you care to make donations in Jerry's loving memory, among the many places you may donate, please consider first and foremost the American Cancer Society or the uh, Ge Geauga Humane Society Rescue Village. Uh, we'll say Kaddish for him at the grave. We'll say Kaddish for him for the next four weeks at Temple Israel near Tarmid. Our Friday night services are at 7.30. The Hebrew school kids are saying Kaddish for him on Wednesday afternoon, so they get reps on the uh, Kaddish. And the Sunday school kids are saying Kaddish for him on Sunday morning for the next four weeks. If you're not going to the cemetery with us and you're just going to meet us back at the house, 321 Rosebury Court, Mayfield Heights, until 7 o'clock tonight, but we'll probably be there in about an hour and 15 minutes or hour and a half from now if you're not coming to the house. I'm not going to the cemetery. And th this concludes our service here at the funeral home, and now we'll receive instructions for the the processional.